DoorDash is now busier than ever, or is it just because I'm a top dasher? Well, in order to answer this question, we have to compare some things and also figure out what busier really means. In my opinion, one thing that would show whether or not DoorDash is busier is if on the slowest days of the week, Tuesday and Wednesday, I would be able to make over $25 an hour since normally on those days, I make around $20 an hour. And that's with multi-apping with Grubhub. If you missed my last video, you can go back and watch it. But if you don't want to waste time doing that, here are some highlights that show just how surprisingly busy it was. That would mean we made about $35 in our first hour on a Tuesday, guys. Dinner shift that you guys saw, I went for two hours and 20 minutes. I made $61, which is about $26.50, I believe. Now that we know how good Tuesday was, I decided to go out on Wednesday and see if my luck could continue, which it did. For the lunch shift, I made $66.13 in just two hours. And that brings us to right now, the dinner shift. So right now I'm walking down from my apartment to my car. It is about six o'clock on Wednesday right now. And I had a great lunch shift and I wanna see if this continues because yesterday I had an amazing Tuesday and I want to see just how good this Wednesday dinner shift is going to be. Considering that this is the first Tuesday and Wednesday shift I have done since I've been a top dasher, I'm interested to see if it's just because I'm a top dasher that this is why I'm consistently making more money or if this is just a fluke time and I'm gonna be comparing it to the Tuesday and Wednesday shifts that I've done as not a top dasher. So we're getting started right now. As you can see, it shows busy. And just something to point out real quick, I have noticed that the map is different as a top dasher. When you're not a top dasher, it shows different things than when you're a top dasher. And I've compared this with my brother who also does DoorDash. And his map will be completely gray and mine will say busy just like you guys saw and he can't go out and dash i can because i'm a top dasher and so that's something interesting that i saw but we are now on our way into a hot spot and we will see what happens for this wednesday shift so right off the bat i got this screenshot of my first order to lolo hawaiian barbecue 855.4 miles we just pulled up to the restaurant but not only this order i also got this one from Grubhub, which goes pretty great with it. $9 for four miles. And then as I pull up, I get this other stack order, which on Para, it says it's $11. I'm gonna trust it because it has the star by it. And we got 6.6 .6 miles, which means after this basically triple stack order, I will have made about $29. So if I can get this done before 7.05, which I think I can, that means that before my first hour is over, I will pretty much be at $30. Let's go get these done. So I was able to get those done before 7.05. So we made $29 in our first hour. And I actually just completed this trifecta of orders that you see in front of you right here. And we are just rolling, honestly. We are making such good money tonight which kind of proves my point. Well, I guess doesn't really prove the point, but it does raise the question, is it because I'm a top dasher now or have Tuesdays and Wednesdays just gotten busier? That's what we're trying to figure out right now. I got this order, which is gonna close out this little dinner shift that I did. And it's a shop and deliver one for Target. Really great payout, over $16, six miles. Let's go get it done. into the comparison on whether or not I'm just making more money on Tuesdays and Wednesdays because they're busier or if it's because I'm a top dasher. I wanted to show you what you can do with all this new money that you could be making on Tuesdays and Wednesdays with the sponsor of this video, Masterworks. You see what Masterworks is, is the platform for investing in contemporary blue chip art. You can literally make investments in world renowned artists like Picasso, which before Masterworks honestly was reserved for the super wealthy. Masterworks allows you to buy fractional shares in super high priced paintings that show major returns and that go up in value year over year. In fact, contemporary art prices outperformed the S&P 500 
2,500 by a total return of 164% in the last 26 years, which I don't know about you guys, but that sounds good to me. Cause I mean, look at the paintings I've had to invest in. Like th these aren't going up in value at all. I might as well be buying some Picassos, some Monets, you know, growing my wealth, growing my portfolio. And now instead of having to pay $20 million for one of these, I can just go on Masterworks and buy a fractional share. Masterworks has sold three paintings since 2017, each returning over 30% net IRR to investors. So if you guys want to start diversifying your portfolio and investing in some art, make sure you check out Masterworks because it is the best way to do it. You don't have to be Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos and purchase these $20 million paintings anymore. You can do it for a fraction of the cost and still get the returns. So make sure if that interests you, go check out Masterworks. The link will be down below in the description. So now that you guys know what you're gonna do with the extra money you can make on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, let's actually get into the comparison of the previous Tuesday and Wednesday shifts I did before I was a top dasher. We're just going through three weeks of April, the Tuesdays and Wednesday shifts that I did then, comparing it to the ones I did just barely. As you guys will see, there is a huge discrepancy in the amount of money I'm making. So just going back through the Tuesdays, on Tuesday the 5th, I made $42 in 2.16 hours, which was $19.35. Tuesday the 12th, I made $177.99 in seven and a half hours, meaning $23.73 was my hourly rate. And Tuesday the 19th, I made $231.11 in 11.25 hours, meaning my hourly pay was $20.54. So my overall Tuesday average was $21.57. Now on to Wednesday, I made $88.84 on Wednesday the 13th, meaning that was $22.21 per hour. The other Wednesday I went in April was Wednesday the 6th. I made $124.57 in 6.2 hours, which is a $19.93 hourly rate which means my Wednesday average between both of those was $20.82 per hour. So you can see they're right around $21 an hour is what I made for the entire month of April on Tuesdays and Wednesdays that I went out. Now we take these two shifts that I just showed you in my last video and this one, and keep in mind, I am a top dasher now. And so these two shifts were on Tuesday, I made $114.69 in four hours and 15 minutes with an hourly rate of $26.99. And the shift you just saw in this video, I made overall $139.99, that's including the lunch shift, with an hourly rate of $32.94, which if you combine both of those, that's an hourly rate of $29.96. So basically a $9 increase since I've been a top dasher. Now, could this just be coincidence? I don't really think so because I don't know how much has changed between just two weeks ago in April and the shifts I'm doing right now. The NBA playoffs is still going on, which can be a factor. Sporting events do increase pay because more people are ordering in, but the NBA playoffs were still going on in mid-April, so I don't think there's that much of a difference. And it's gotten much warmer outside, which you would think actually the warmer it gets, the less people are going to order in. So I think there's actually factors working against the shifts that I just showed you guys. And so the only variable that I could find was I'm a top dasher now. So are Tuesdays and Wednesdays not as slow? Because in theory, as a top dasher, you're supposed to get more consistent orders and during the dead times, you're supposed to get priority. So just from this comparison alone, I think it does prove that. Now, if you guys think I'm just full of crap, you can honestly say that in the comments, but I'm curious to know what your guys' thoughts are on this whole thing because it's just something interesting I found because I wasn't that top dasher in April and I noticed that things were definitely not as consistent as they are right now. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys subscribe. And if you wanna see a different side of me, make sure you check out my other channel I do with my brother. It's called Talking More Sports. We cover all things basketball. So if you're into that, go subscribe. And also I'm starting to upload on more finance TV again. I'm going to be doing daily stock market investing videos, showing you guys where I'm putting my money I make over on this channel. So if you're interested to see where I'm putting my money, then go check out that channel as well. And I will see you guys next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.